Hello, we're gonna be doing the flip through. I am going to be sharing with you a flip through of Math with Confidence first grade. So if you're new, I'm a homeschooling mom of three, and this year we started using Math with Confidence in our homeschool for our math curriculum. We switched away from The Good and the Beautiful, which we have loved for many years, but Math with Confidence was just a better option for us this year. And I wanted to share with you a flip through of the program so you can see how it works if you're interested in it. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and I'm going to be showing you both the workbook and the teacher's manual. Okay, here are our books for Math with Confidence. So the grades come with your instructor's guide and it comes with the student book. So we're gonna look at the instructor's guide first and then we'll move on to the student book. I'm just gonna flip to wherever we are in here. We're up to week seven, but also up to unit three. So each unit has a specific overview and it's gonna be talking about shapes this unit, what your child will learn, recommended, uh, picture books, which we've not done this, but I do know that Rachel from Seven and All kind of pulls from some of these. So go and check out her channel. I think she's using the kindergarten level at the moment. Um, she might be on to first grade. I'm not sure. But um, go check that out because she talks more about that. Uh, and then it talks more about what you're specifically going to learn about this week. So you can get an overview of the things that you'll be learning and really understand. And then they talk about the extra materials that you're gonna need, which I really appreciate. And then there's optional enrichment. So the way this is set out is that there are five lessons a week, but the fifth lesson is completely optional. It's more of an enrichment lesson. So we're only doing the four lessons a week at this stage, but if there's something fun that you wanna do there, then you totally can. So let's zoom in a little bit. So this is the beginning of the lesson, okay, and you can see it's 7.1. Tomorrow it'll be 7.2, 7.3, 7.4, 7.5, that's how it works. Um, up here, it is gonna tell you what you're gonna be doing, so it's the purpose of it, which is just fabulous, and then the materials you're gonna need. So I love this because I can get it set up before we start our lesson. Uh, then it's gonna be your activities, so this is the lesson part, and the materials you'll need for that, and then your workbook. Okay, and what you're gonna what they're gonna be doing in their workbook, and that's what they do in this, which is independent for the most part. Younger kids are probably gonna need a little help, but for the most part, my kids can do it fairly independently. So here is the warm up, and this is where they're gonna focus on things that they've already learned before, and so they're still mastering these skills uh, and reviewing these skills. So this is optional in the sense that if your child truly has mastered this, you don't necessarily need to do it. But if they're still working on it then this is a fabulous time to go over that. And they really do change this up so you're not just doing the same thing every day. There's something interesting for your child to do. Um, we don't use pennies and nickels so in New Zealand, so we just I just use whatever money we have on hand. Um, and then there's like these basic questions, which number's the sum? Which numbers are the add-ins? Um, that kind of thing. So a lot of this is, I do notice that she's focused a lot on correct, uh, the correct verbiage to use for things. So that's that's really good. And then it moves on to the actual lesson for the day. So this is new information that your child has not learned yet. So you're gonna play guess my category with circles. So here, it's the, the um, text that is bolded is what you read to your child. The regular text is to you, the parent, okay? So here we're talking about the shapes. And then here, is the game. So it's saying, let's play a game called Guess My Category. I will choose a category. Some of the shapes belong to my category and some don't. Okay, and then it tells you what to do as a parent. You're gonna write yes and no. Okay, and then they're gonna choose a shape card. If it's a circle, place it on the yes paper. If it's not a circle, place it on the no paper. So this is, you're doing this as the parent. Okay, and then you're gonna do it until they think that they know the category. All right, and they're gonna keep, your child's gonna be the one who, um, decides where things go. So it's it's just so much fun because it's like a game most of the lessons and my kids have just really, really enjoyed it. So then we flip over to here and this is still, we're still working on the same lesson. So it says, you're gonna draw curved and straight lines. So this is something that you're gonna focus on with your child next. And then once you've done all that, then you're going to get the workbook. So this is what the workbook looks like. 
and I will take you to where we're at. The front page of the workbook is stuff that you would have covered in that lesson just there. So here it is, they're gonna be working on uh, identifying circles. And then it says, draw a picture with straight lines and curved lines. So it's literally exactly the information that they've just been taught. Then on the back page here, this is stuff that they've already learned. And so it's just review. And if you feel like your child really has mastered some of these things, feel free to cross off stuff, but this is what it's like. And here they're just writing the number before and the number after. So this is lesson 7.1. We've only done the first six weeks so far, but I'll do a little bit of a flip through now just so you can see what the book looks like. This is the workbook. Something I wanted to point out is that there are only 32 weeks worth of work in this math curriculum. So that gives you time then if your child needs reinforced uh, learning, they need to go over concepts some more, that gives you plenty of time, or you can add in additional resources to sort of bulk out your year. But that is what the workbook looks like. And then your teacher's guide is broken up into the units like I showed you before, this moves on to now the next lesson. But at the end of this week, you'll get to here. This is the end of week seven. You've got your answer guide for the workbook, which I find very helpful for quick marking. This is the enrichment lesson, which is optional, okay? And then you'll just move on to the next week. Now, once you've moved through an entire unit, once you've moved through an entire unit, and I've taken you backwards here just because I knew where the unit was, um, there is actually a little checkpoint. So there are not necessarily formal assessments in here, but there are checkpoints so that you as the parent can know what your child really needs to have mastered before they move on to the next unit. So this is very, very helpful and uh, just gives you a little bit more clarity and confidence as to whether or not your child has mastered the things that they need to know. So that's the teacher's guide. It all looks pretty much the same throughout and that's how it works. There are these at the back here which are resources that can be printed out and used. Now some of these you can get the physical things for. For instance, I have play money and I have shape pieces already. So I didn't have to print out that. But like your number card or your number chart, I have this printed out and laminated and I keep it in a folder. And then when I go and check each day for the lessons, I just see what resources I need. And if I need this, I go get it out the folder and do it that way. So you basically make your own math box, which is very simple to put together. Um, you got your place value chart and things like that. So these are also available on their website where you can download more than one. Like if you bought the physical copy of this and not the PDF, you can find the PDF for these resources if you need to print a new one. So that is a flip through of first grade Math with Confidence. I hope that was helpful. I hope it shared um, enough with you so that you kind of have an idea of how it works and if it's a good fit for you and your kid. Uh, this is the first grade. I will also have a flip through out of second grade. And um, yeah, if you have questions, leave them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye. World had your smile what if the wind could spread your love what if your sweetness could reach everyone there'd be no wars